Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just realized I'm wearing the same thing that I wore in my last video. But anyway, today we are going to check out a new store. So I got invited to this store. I don't know what's the name, but I've been told that they stock a range of like Korean streetwear brands. And to be honest, I don't really know too much about Korean streetwear. I know like ADLV, Emis, but that's pretty much it. I feel like if I see them, I would know them. I just don't really know the names of these brands. But yeah, I thought I'll go check out the store. So it's somewhere in the city. So we're gonna go there today. But let me quickly show you guys my outfit. It's actually 30 degrees today, so it's pretty hot. And this is what I'm wearing. Hopefully you guys can see. So this baseball shirt thing's pretty oversized. It's from Capital. And it's actually a size three, sorry, my hair. So I cut this like little short bit this bangs thing and I don't know how to style it and it's always poking me in the face <laughs> but anyway back to what I'm wearing this capital like baseball um, shirt thing it's a size 3 and because it's so big um, I have the sleeves rolled up because if I don't roll it up it's like this long so I think it looks a little bit better when I have it rolled up and I love the patchwork detail and it says here great country hardball I'm pretty sure I'll show you guys the back but I think it's a really nice shirt and it's good for like weather like this when it's okay, it's 30 degrees so it's pretty hot today but I just want it to look somewhat put together and not just wear like a t-shirt so yeah I love this piece underneath I just have a Uniqlo t-shirt and then I'm wearing this like pleated Skirt or skirt shorts thing and this is just from Zara. I actually wear this a lot and I think the color combo is good and then with my sneakers Wait, how do I show you? <laughs> with my sneakers, I'm wearing the A6 Jean Gel Kyano 14. I took them out recently because when I first got them, hold on, <laughs> let me sit down so I can talk to you guys. When I first got them a year or two ago, I forget when they came out. When I first got them, I think I only wore them like once or twice and then I stopped wearing them, I don't know why. And recently I took them out again and I have to say, sizing wise, I feel like they're a little snug because I got this in my true to size which is a men's 6 and I wore them all day the other day and was starting to feel a little bit tight in the toe box area. Like it fits but I think if I went half a size up that would have been a little bit better so I would say if you have like white feet especially with the gel Kyono 14s maybe going up half a size would be ideal but anyway that's just my thoughts from like wearing them a little bit more now but it's quite a simple shoe this is like the <laughs> the worst bureau but I like them I mean it's like a good everyday shoe and like with the mesh runner style I feel like that's still very popular and I've also gotten some questions about the necklace that I've been wearing so actually let me take it off to show you the necklace itself is from Good Art it's just like a ball chain necklace and then the pendant is from Chrome Hearts I think the ball chain necklace really complements this pendant because the Chrome Heart stuff is quite chunky and a lot of the necklaces that I have are quite fine so they didn't really go well so I ended up picking this necklace I got it from up there and I feel like it looks good right I don't know anyway um, let's head out and do some shopping I'm in Royal Arcade right now and I don't know whether they sent me the right address because the address looks like it's where Kick SUW is and I'm pretty sure Kick SUW is still there so I'm gonna head up and Suss it out. Oh my god, these stairs. Guys, I did a workout yesterday. <laughs> my legs are so sore. But anyway, it's on level two. I can't remember the last time I've been here. Like, it's been ages. And I guess since I'm here, I might as well pick up some sneakers because I've been getting so many L's lately, guys. So, we'll see. We're here. Oh my god, it's been so long. Oh! Where are you? Hi! Good this is Steven. You. We're here to look at some sneakers, but also the Korean brands that I mentioned earlier today. Let's go and look at some clothing first. Oh my god. Why am I so out of breath <laughs> from walking up those stairs? They've got like heaps of Supreme tees here. They've got so many brands now. So we've got some Bape, Charlie Luciano. Got 
a ton of different like Vasi jackets, which is cool. But I don't really see the brands that I'm looking for. <laughs> Am I in the wrong spot? It's gonna be so awkward. All right, let's do another quick round of the store. Guys, this is the cabinet of all the stuff you want. We got some Louis Vuitton Air Forces. Why don't I have a pair yet? Nobody knows. This is the crazy stuff that's in the cabinet. Let's look at some sneakers in the meantime. I actually think the April Dunks look pretty nice. I missed out on these. And of course, the Travis that dropped last year. This is the golf one. I really like these or the olive one. Another pair that I've been looking for. I wonder if they have it, hold on. Jordans are here and this one here. I can't believe I didn't cop this last year. I know it was sneaker of the year for a lot of people and it's definitely a really nice pair. So I might try and see if they have my size. Good news, they actually have my size in. This one is the golf pair. Am I going to play golf, guys? I don't know. I actually tried playing and I'm horrible at it. So I'm gonna try that one. And then the other pair is the pine greens. They have my size too, so I'm really excited to try this one on. I love them. Wait, can you guys see? Look at this. I love them. Definitely picking these up. I'm gonna try the Travis. Also, can you guys let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing an unboxing of these? Because it's like an older release and I feel like there's so many unboxing videos on these already. So, you know, maybe you might not be interested. But if you guys want a video, I'll do it. How good do they look? Yeah, definitely copying these as well. I got my shoes with me. I'm so happy. But now, for real though, I need to figure out where these brands are. Steven, where are these Korean brands? I'm looking for Amis. Somewhere. Marty. Here, there, downstairs. So we just opened downstairs. a new level. Yeah, level <laughs> one. So open a new shop space. It's on level one. So it's not on level two. Oh, so I've been on the wrong floor the whole time. But it's okay, because I got, you got <laughs> some sneakers. All right, let's go to level one. kitty adlv cropped zip hoodie and it is so cute can you guys see i'll make sure to list everything in the description bar below in case you guys are looking for them i love the color and i think the fit is really nice hopefully you guys can see properly i like how it's hello kitty but it's not like very loud that it's hello kitty it's pretty subtle and it's giving very y2k vibes i think this is a definite cop this is the other hello kitty sweatshirt this is size one so this is the smallest that it comes in i have it tucked under a little bit but i think the cut is good the material is really nice it's pretty thick hey guys i'm trying to figure out how hold on can you see the back you can't see the back oh wait can you see the back this way <laughs> it says hello kitty i can't figure out the angle but it says hello kitty here on the back hopefully you guys can see i'll put some sort of b-roll all right i decided to come out of the fitting room because i realized the lighting here is so much better so i'm sorry if you couldn't see all the other stuff properly but let me show you this hoodie how cute is it? So I love that there's this like pink plastic dinosaur. This hoodie also comes in another color, but I thought the white looks better because you can see the contrast. Again, I'm wearing this in a size one and you can see it's pretty oversized, but I like how it fits and the material feels really good as well. This is the MFG, wait, my hair is in the way. MFG hoodie. It's pretty cropped, as you guys can see. I do like the color and I don't really have a lot of like cropped hoodies and this is really giving me kind of 2000s vibe do you guys remember 
baby fat Kimura Lee Simmons brand like that kind I've come out to grab more things so Mari is a must and I think that is their most popular item I really like the embroidery on it and the color combo looks really nice the green and the gray it's nice and then there was also this knit that I really wanted to try the camera angle is really bad sorry guys <laughs> um, I can't decide which color because I've already got green I might try the cream and the pink so Martin Kim is over here I'm really interested in trying this t-shirt I think the sort of rip detail what do you call it rip that's like a detail <laughs> in the center of the shirt that I think looks really interesting. This is like a baby tee and then they've got like more so of an oversized tee which I think that's much more my vibe so I'll give that one a go. I might grab a couple more things before I head back into the fitting room and I saw this knit before. It's from a brand called Embla. I really like the color combo. Oh this is cute. Okay let's try that one on. They've got some really like cute looking knits with the teddy bear. Oh this here, look at this. Wait, can you guys see? That like flower embroidery with the face. I think that's really fun. Oh my god. My arm. This is getting so heavy. This is what the cardigan looks like on. So this is also one size only. But I think the pink is really nice and it's sort of a good everyday sort of piece. I've been loving cardigans lately. So this is the Marty fit. I love this whole outfit. So it has like the matching shorts as well as the sweatshirt. And with the shorts, you can see it has the embroidery detail. I also paired it with this Amis cap. They have this in so many different colors. It was so hard to pick, but because this is green, I wanted to go with like the gray and green kind of fit. And yeah, I think the fit is so nice on this. So the next fit is this Ambla knit. I really love the color combo. And the fit is quite nice as well, as you guys can see. It's a little bit oversized. It was quite long, so I tucked it into my skirt. But look at the graphic, it's so cute. It's like a little bib. I also paired it with this bag. So this bag is from a brand called Carlin. And the straps are actually adjustable, so you can pull onto this thing here. I just have it as a crossbody bag. It's in this sort of pale grey colour, and I feel like it works really well as a fit. I know I've just been wearing the same skirt this whole time, but I think it looks pretty good. This is the Martin Kim fit, and I really like the detail on the t-shirt here. So you can see the Martin Kim branding, but there's this like rip detail across and it's in this baby blue color which I think works really well with this windbreaker so this is also from Martin Kim you can see it's slightly on the crop side I think I got this in a size small and the back there's also the Martin Kim branding I think I've finalized what I'm gonna get I know I tried too many things guys Sorry if that was quite a long vlog. Also, I'm trying to see if I can convince Steven to do a little giveaway for you guys because I feel like some of you guys might be interested in some of the pieces I tried on. So let us try and ask him. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So Steven, is that a yes to giveaway? Well, let's, uh, let's play a game, flip a coin. Flip a coin? Okay, I'm down. So heads is a yes. And tails is a yes. Oh my God. <laughs> let's do it. <gasps> Moment of truth. Uh, what is it? It's a yes anyway. It's a yes. <laughs> it's a yes, you guys. Why do I buy that much stuff? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I can't. I can't forget my shoes. Oh. Don't forget our giveaway mystery box. <gasps> It's a mystery box? Yes. Oh my god, guys, this is so exciting. All right, I'll unbox this when I get home. But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Today. So this is part of the ADLV Hello Kitty collection and I just think this is super cute. I love anything that's Hello Kitty in case you guys didn't know. Anyway, this is really exciting because I'm going to be unboxing this mystery box together for you guys. So you know how Steven agreed to do a giveaway. So pretty much 
Everything that's in here, I'm going to be giving away to you guys. So it's pretty exciting to me because I have no idea what's in here. So let's just unbox this together. It's been a minute since I've done a mystery box unboxing. Wait, why am I so unprepared? I should have brought... <laughs> why don't I have a Stanley knife with me? For some reason, I thought I could just like rip into this. Hold on. <laughs> One moment, guys. I'm back with my Stanley knife. So let's open this up. I also have the sneakers to show you guys quickly after, like the two sneakers that I picked up. Guys, I'm so excited. Like I said, I haven't done a mystery box in ages, but this is fun because you guys will get everything that's in here. Hold on, oh my god. So, so in here, ta-da, are a few things. Okay, so the first thing I can see in this box is the Anis cap. So you guys saw while I was there, I tried on a green one. So this one here is a red corduroy one. And I'm pretty sure I know this brand because one of the members from Blackpink wore it. I remember seeing a photo and that's why I remember this brand. But I think this is a really nice one. And one of you guys will be able to win this. I will let you know what the giveaway uh, details are at the end of the video. And then the next piece I have here is a t-shirt. So this is from the brand Marty. And actually, I call it Marty, but I think it's Marty Mercredi. I don't know how to pronounce it there. There you go. You guys can see what the brand is. I just call it Marty and it is like their classic print with the flower and it is a white and navy one i think this is super cute as well and this one here is in size one. Oh yeah i forgot so with this brand everything is one size only i feel like this is a little bit oversized maybe it looks like a big size medium i think like it'll probably look a little bit oversized on me so that's in there and then the next piece we have here is a little what is this um Hold on. So this one here is... Ah, oh, it's a tote bag! This one is really cute. Look at this, guys. So this is a tote bag from a brand called What It Isn't. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is the artwork from Mark Gonzalez because it's really distinct to me. I'm pretty sure Mark Gonzalez has done a collab or a few collabs with Adidas because I remember seeing this like bird on here. But anyway, this is a tote bag and it is in this sort of like wool material and there is this embroidery and it's the embroidery of the bird and it says what it isn't. And I like how it's tonal, so it's like not super obvious. And then on the back here, you can also see the what it isn't embroidery on the back. And yeah, it's just like, a fun little tote bag and I feel like you can't go wrong with tote bags like when you're going grocery shopping or just every day in general and I like how there's a little pocket here too which is nice so one of you guys will be able to win this as well um, the size, hold on, let me put down this box so I can show you guys the size properly so the size is pretty decent I'm standing too near to the camera, am I? that is a really nice tote bag I wish I got one too anyway, there's one last thing in the box and I can see Pokemon. So this is from ADLV. Um, I say ADLV because I don't know how to pronounce the full name properly, but I'm sure you guys have seen this brand before. I think it's super popular. Like over the last few years, you would 100% have seen that hoodie with like the baby on there because I remember seeing it all the time and wondering like, what is that brand? And yeah, it is ADLV, even though I've never had one of those hoodies. And in here, I think it is a Pokemon collab. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. It comes with this like little card here and there is a pin as well, which is super cute. So I think this is meant to look like a little gaming console and it actually says ADLV Pokemon. I think that's a really nice detail. And it is a t-shirt. Let's have a look. <gasps> the back is really nice. Wait, I need to show you guys. Look at this. Look at the Pokemon print on the back. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I love Pokemon. So I'm so happy that they've included this in the box because I think it's really, really cool. 
So on the front here, sorry, I got so distracted <laughs> from the back print. On the front here, it says, go to catch them all, ADLV Pokemon. So you guys can see this is pretty oversized. I would say this is almost like a very boxy size L. It says size one on the tag, and I've never owned any t-shirts from ADLV, but I would say they fit pretty oversized. So yeah. This is gonna go to one of you guys as well. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know most of you guys already subscribed, so thank you so much. But if you're not, I would really appreciate it if you do. And please follow KickSTW and myself on Instagram, and we will have a collab post on there. So you can leave a comment saying like you're entering the giveaway, or you can leave like an emoji, or just comment like what you would love to win out of these pieces that I just showed you guys and we will pick the winners and the giveaway is open internationally so wherever you are I will ship the item to you so yeah I'm really excited because I feel like I haven't done a giveaway in a while and I love like sending little parcels to you guys I think it's super fun so hopefully you're not that far because shipping can get expensive but like I said it's open internationally so wherever you are I will ship out the gift to you and oh yeah before I end the video let me quickly show you the sneakers that I picked up so one of them is the Nike SB Jordan 4 Pine Greens and this was a lot of people's sneaker of the year last year and clearly I'm team very very late and I should have gotten a pair when I could I feel like I didn't try that hard, so I entered the raffles and stuff, and I missed, and then I was like, oh well, it's okay. And the more I saw it on feet on other people, I realized that it was a really, really good shoe. And so yeah, here I am in 2024 with a pair, and I think it is such a nice pair. Colorway is great. I actually really love the hits of red on the sneaker, like here on the tongue, as well as the air bubble. And I love the story behind it, how like, Nike had skaters testing this for like two years just to make sure it performs because you know it is a Nike SB and Jordan collab which I think is amazing and even if you don't skate clearly I don't skate <laughs> I think it's still a really nice shoe to have and from what I've heard they are very comfortable as well which is always a plus and the other pair I know is like quite predictable and Overrated. I mean, Travis has dropped so many Jordan 1s and it's like an easy sell for Nike, you know, they know that his sneakers are so hype so he just keeps putting out colorways and we just keep trying to buy them. <laughs> but honestly, the ones that dropped last year, I did enter raffles and you know, if I could have gotten them for retail, I wouldn't be mad but because I couldn't get them, I was like, you know what, it's okay. I feel like that was my attitude for most of last year like there wasn't anything that I missed that I was like oh my gosh I have to get it for some reason I'm very intrigued by this golf pair or maybe like secretly in my heart I'm hoping like one day I'll be good at golf <laughs> or maybe like this is just my excuse to like oh maybe I should actually get into golf because I now have a pair of golf shoes and of course they are the Travis ones I think they are interesting. You guys can see the outsole is different because this is a golf shoe. And I love how on the tongue here, you can see the Jumpman logo and it says golf. I think the colorway is good. Again, it's a very overhyped shoe. All the Travis's are. And you guys know that I have a few and I do wear them. And yeah, it's just like another nice shoe to add to my collection, I suppose. I know that there's gonna be more colorways with the Travis Jordans this year. And of course, I'm gonna try cop, but if I don't get a pair, I'm not gonna be like that upset about. Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Oh, another update. Did I tell you guys that I tried to cop the New Balance Salehi 1906? So I woke up at like, was it 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. here? Yeah, anyway, I woke up and I didn't cop. <laughs> I don't know why my game was so not strong because like on the website you had to like enter a password and the password was like in my spam. So I like, I like, I was, the game was not strong that day and I didn't cop and I checked the resale on them and I did not expect the resale prices to be that expensive. I feel like the site definitely got bought it really fast because it sold out within like minutes, right? 
I was almost thinking that it was gonna like be there for maybe 10 minutes or so but I think like three minutes in it was completely sold out so I have a feeling that this site got bought it and I am still really interested in them. I have been checking the prices on the secondary market on them and they are pretty high and I don't know if I want to pay that much for them so we will see. That's my update. I did not get a pair. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to get a pair. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had such a fun day today just like shopping and just discovering new brands and like trying stuff that I typically wouldn't go for and they ended up like looking good and I ended up picking up like something like that which I had no intention of buying this today but because it was Hello Kitty I had to and lately I've been loving like zipped hoodies because I feel like it's a little bit more versatile and because the weather in Melbourne is sort of erratic like it's hot and then it's cold so it's nice to be able to like put it on and off um, but yeah, anyway guys, I said anyway so many times. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will also make sure to put all the giveaway details in the description bar below so you guys can check it out in case the way I said it wasn't clear, which it probably wasn't. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye!